Yo, 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 what is up, YouTube? This is Joshua here at American AF Dumpster Rentals in Dallas. Hope everybody's having an awesome start to their week. I am behind on my weekly recap. Uh, I was out of town. It was my sister-in-law's wedding. So we flew over there and were there for the weekend. Uh, went to the wedding on Saturday and flew back yesterday, which was Sunday. Uh, and I just haven't had a chance to get her done, get uh, get this weekly recap, weekly recap done for you guys. So August 20th through August 26th, 2023, for those of you guys that are watching later on, uh, two trucks, one full-time for the most part, and one very, 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 very part-time, just really depends on availability or depends on, um, you know, only running five dumpsters on that bigger truck. So uh, it's really part-time and also I was gone Thursday and Friday so I couldn't help in any in any way but we are down we're down for the first time in the three weeks that I've been doing my recap uh, and that may be for several reasons but uh, 15 dumpsters only for the week $558 average per dumpster which puts me at eight thousand three thirty five sixty eight in total revenue for the week again this is total revenue, top line revenue. There's gonna be a disclaimer at the end of every single one of these re, re, uh, weekly recaps. I can't say that. There's gonna be a disclaimer in every single one of these recaps, basically saying that this is just total revenue. Total revenue actually means nothing as far as a dumpster business or any business is concerned. It's 100% about uh, profit. Obviously, the more total revenue, ideally, the more total revenue you have, the more profit you have. But with that being said, there's a ton of expenses that come out of these, uh, of your total revenue, being overhead, maintenance, truck payments, part of overhead, I guess. Um, you know, you've got payroll, you've got uh, all these other expenses that I'm gonna go over, including fuel, landfill fees, ad spend, marketing, which is part of ad spend, I guess, uh, and all that stuff. So rem remember, when I go over these total numbers, some of you guys may think I'm giving away too much information. Other you guys may think I'm not giving enough. I'm not giving over any profits. I'm not giving over any secrets. This is my journey, my business, my way. Like it or not, that's it. Um, fuel, let's go over fuel for the week or expenses. expenses. Uh, fuel, someone, someone had a tizzy because I kept saying gas last week and I get it. It's not gas. Uh, but I, I, you know, I'm, I'm Puerto Rican. Uh, my family kind of either makes up words or we use the wrong words a lot of times. So if you're following this channel, channel, I'm sure you've heard me wake up, make up some weird stuff. Uh, so uh, gas is not made up, but I always say gas for everything. Fuel for the week, $716.81. Landfill fees for the week. And that's for both trucks. Again, my second truck, the International, did not move very much at all. Uh, first truck stayed full-time, full 40 hours uh, is what my driver's doing. Landfill fees, $923.52. I think that's about an average of about $65 per dump. It's not bad at all. Um, we have a lot of light ones too. Uh, but again, you pay a minimum of one ton. So I pay a minimum of one ton. Uh, landfill fees, we went over that. Google ad spend was more than where I wanted, would want it to be uh, for the total revenue that I got for the week. You've heard me say before, I'd like to stay under 10% of my weekly revenue for ad spend. And uh, I was way over this week, but uh, but who knows what it's going to turn into. So anyways, $1,230 in daily and weekly ad spend. My average budget is $150 a day. So what's that? One fifty a day. If I use up the entire ad spend, you're looking at uh, one thousand fifty, give or take some. I don't know. I have upped that budget today to my ten dollars per can per week or per day rule. Um, so twenty five cans will put me on two hundred fifty dollars a day ad spend. We're gonna try that out for a week. I talked to, talk to Nick a little bit about it, and we'll see uh, what that brings me next week. Again reasons why the week might be slow uh, let's not get into tizzy saying that the economy is going bad or you know we're losing all kinds of stuff i think you know again lots of people are going into school right now uh, lots of kids are going to school so school's starting up uh, and it has been unbearably uh, hot 
I mean, you're talking about daily uh, record-breaking heat numbers, and uh, you know, a lot of the contractors aren't working in it, a lot of the roofers aren't working in it. That may be part of it. It may be just your constant ebbs and flow of business that I've talked about in numerous videos before, is that business goes up and down. So we're just gonna keep an eye on it. We're gonna keep an eye on the ad spend. We're gonna keep an eye on, uh, um, you know, again, be very careful about ad spend because Spending money on Google Ads the wrong way can make you broke. Spending it the right way can make you go broke. So always keep an eye on it. Very, very close eye. Uh, we will see how this week's numbers come, and then I might tweak it a little bit next week again. Of the 1,230 total ad spend for the week in Google Ads, 135 clicks, 6.88 click-through rate, and then $9.08 average cost per click. Guys, again, top level, top you know top level numbers or you know high-end numbers um don't don't compare this to your business this is just a uh my journey again this is just where i'm at right now uh it may be good for you it may be bad for you i don't know um each market is 1000 percent different uh my my cost per dump per landfill my cost per dump is completely different than most of you guys or than a lot of you guys uh, my expenses are different some of you guys may have paid cash for your truck i lease I mean, just a lot of different things uh each market is completely different don't use my numbers to compare yourself to because that's only setting yourself up for failure use uh, the overall kind of growth of this business, hopefully, to compare yourself to and kind of uh, see, you know, what I do to try and do make my business grow more, or um, how I get more revenue or more business, more dumpster rentals, whatever that may be, um, you know, or give me some suggestions below. I'm learning every single day. I am not an experienced dumpster guy in this industry whatsoever however this ain't my first rodeo i have been in business since i was 18 so i do understand a little bit about business but i'm still learning every single day every single day i still find something i did wrong or a mistake that i made and that i'm going to correct in the future so with that being said y'all um that's this week's weekly recap i've got some cool videos coming up that i've already shot i've got some exciting news on my on my, on my personal level um, that I'm going to be sharing with you guys and the course of Canada house I just left there is shaping up as well so I'm excited to bring you guys some future videos uh, I've also got an interview with Tony Elmore from Elmore's dumpsters up in where's he New York I believe um, that I'm gonna be uploading here soon and sharing with you guys keep an eye out for that it's a good video uh, good interview with him I met him at dumpster con back in I believe February or March of this year and uh, we had talked about doing an interview several times and it was scheduled a couple weeks ago and uh bringing it to you in the next couple days so anyways uh with that guys i hope you guys are having an awesome week stay busy stay strong hustle hard and we will see you guys on the next one